it feels like every FM player has a story of an amazing South American, North American, a Brazilian, Argentinian wonder kid. Is this the guy for you? Let's find out. What's happening folks and welcome to another episode of Stars of Tomorrow, an FM22 series where we look at some young talent on Football Manager and we see how they get on the course of their career. Do apologize for what's uh, Both players that I pick and I'm curious about and players that you give me in the comment section or in Discord if you want to join Discord and get involved in all the discussions in there and all the sections in there, link down in the description. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to help the channel massively. It does help every like and view and subscribe does help the channel out massively. Down below my, my other channels, my FIFA channel and my non-football Let's Play channel are down below as well. Every channel now getting daily uploads um, every day at 6pm and 1pm at 7pm. Each channel is slightly different. Daily uploads on those channels. So, today is Facun, it's, it's, it, today we're looking at Facuno Farias, uh, a young Amer American? I saw, the, I saw the A. Argentinian uh, winger slash uh, midfielder attacking I'm gonna, I'm gonna say attacking midfielder because attacking midfielder because that's his natural role. Um straight away you can see long shot 16, technique 16, straight away dribbling as well 15, looks amazing already. So clearly long shots from the AMC position are gonna be really handy with this guy. So development you can see here we've got a reasonable left foot and a very strong right foot. Uh, runs the ball for centre, comes deep to get the ball and runs with the ball often. And you would think he would do with the dribbling he's got there. So, has he got a contract release clause in his... He has got an 8.75 um, release clause in his contract. So, bear that in mind. You can get this guy quite cheap at the start of the game if you really think this guy is for you. I've done a scout report for you. Um, he's worth 1.3 to 4.6, but like we said there is that release clause in his contract. Unfortunately, what we what we done United in the first window, he signed a new contract recently, so we've got to bear that in mind that you may have to wait till January at least to get this guy in. But that's keep an eye on that scout, keep an eye, keep an eye on that release clause at least. Um, would be interesting to join him on loan, so you could get him on loan at a club, but I don't think they're going to want to do that based on the standard of player he is. Two star current ability, four star potential. He has a max potential rating of 170. I've set it to that, so as you know, that's what I do. So. He can play in couple positions. That's his main attribute there. He's always other things and also try to ball from distance. Negatives, agent high fee, um, work in the department, language, all that kind of stuff. But a lot of things are quite, because he's quite young, so they'll obviously improve as he gets older. So straight away, you're looking at a player who can play on his right foot as well. Which is, his right foot is very strong. So you could make him a winger. He's got the dribbling for it, uh, inside four maybe, and shooting from long range. Um, the, the pace, I want to say, would be a bit higher for making a winger, but is it 18, 18 years old? That will surely develop. Right then, the first jump, guys. Let's go. All right, folks, he's at Man City. He's 22 years old, and you can see here he's now a natural striker as well, which is interesting. Um, the stats have really stayed the same. Dribbling is 16, long shots and technique are still the highest. Composure is 16. The pace not really increased that much massively overall. Uh, development, he's still got the relatively same traits on him. Um, Man City have signed him. I would, again, is it going to be a case where they just don't play him enough? Uh, which is a common problem I've noticed. Um, but one thing I said about this guy straight away is that he's got a lot of adaptability in position. So you can definitely you can play him left wing, AMC, and striker. You really could do that. I think uh, it depends on which formation you're playing, obviously, and what your needs are. But you've got a player who's multifunctional, which I like. I like players who are multifunctional. If I see a player who can play uh, uh, both wingers or both midfield roles or I just think, yeah, that's a big tick in the box for me. Not the only reason why I signed them, but it's a big help for me. Injuries, again, not injury prone. Is I don't think, in my opinion, that's not injury prone. So that's good. How much is City signing for? 5.25. So you're getting two players release clause at the start of the game. So you can see here you've got eight and three. He's Argentina, obviously. Eight and three, 14 and nine, two and four. Moosman City, don't get, don't get played. I'm going to make a prediction here and say he'll be moved on because I don't think he's going to be able to get in Man City's team. Um, by the looks of it, but again, not over expensive, multifunctional into the position, but scope to improve if, if you sign him and develop him better than City have done so far. Takes a lot of boxes here, doesn't it? I want to see if he moves clubs somewhere and gets regular football in like a higher league, like Premier League, Bundesliga, Serie A, La League, whatever, and see if he can how he does because right now he's not getting much chance at Man City, is he? 
All right, folks, he's gone to uh, Benfica, and straight away you can see the, the, the increase because he's playing football. That's what I always say. When they're playing games, they will develop. And obviously, mental stats are, are, are increasing anyway because they get older. Technical stats, dribbling, first touch, long shot and technique, and passing, all very good. Fantastic. A little gem, uh, I would say, this guy. His pace, not insanely high, but again, not a big issue playing a cam, in my opinion. Um, so how has he got on with his, with his development? Still got the same development, still got the same kind of traits through there. His injury record is still, in my opinion, very good. Nothing there to really concern me. So how much did they sign him for? They got him a free transfer. They got City didn't play him. Big mistake. But Big got him on loan. Then they got him a free transfer. His first season in the, in the Portuguese league, 8-7. and seven, And then 12-5. and five. You look at these stats right now. Take out the City period where he didn't play. Play him in those two seasons, all those two years. And this guy could develop him better. Unfortunately, we can't force a team to play them, unfortunately. But this guy, it looks, for the fee you're paying for, 5 million, or in Benfica's case, nothing, is an absolute little gem, isn't he? Now then, um, do I think he can be a winger still? Potentially, yes. Um, I could see him as a striker as well. I'd say a striker more than a winger, because um, the pace would worry me a little bit. Um, but I think the, the, the technique composure and finishing, you were going to finish a bit, a bit more, you could definitely make him a striker. I don't think that'd be a problem. Um, but I think you've got to play this guy early on. You've got to either sign him quickly and loan him out, or you've got to um, get him to your first team without loaning him out. So let's see how he does um, at Benfica, or if he gets another move somewhere else, that's to show him what he can do. He's gone to Man United. Interesting. Um, I wouldn't say sign this guy. I don't put AMC um, anymore. I'm going to try to do it with information Man United. Um, but interesting. Interesting. Uh, so, 60 million United. Well, oh, well, United are paying for a player. That never happens, does it? 12 and 5 Benfica. Then he got 8 and 5. Then 3 and 2. Goes Man United. 7 and 1. 5 and 3. 4 and 3. Yeah, I mean, they've all paid for him massively. But I think he's a guy you, you sign early on. You get him early on for that low transfer fee. I do that with his clothes if you can. And then you develop him quickly. I think there's a, definitely a player here you can use in a variety of positions. I don't think um, anything down the central area. Even set in mid, you could make him, make him a Mazala. Um, you could do that, I think. Looking at... Let's look at it again here. I mean, let's have a look. You could make him a set in mid. You really could. I mean, the traits... It comes to get the ball anyway. It runs the ball often. runs the ball for the centre. You could make him a CM. You really could. Um, I, I don't know how easy that how how it performed, obviously. But if you're playing a four-two-three-one, you ain't got a lot of money. This is the guy for you, I think. He's not he's not injury prone, is he? No, he's not. And I think you just got to play. You look at the stats we had on him now. Add on the fact that City didn't play him for two years. You know what I mean? You could definitely see. Uh, an increase in his ability. If you sign this guy in FA, let me know how he does for you, because I'm curious to see how you guys, if you guys sign these players based on my reviews, or if you sign them already, and you think, oh, dude, he's brilliant. I agree with what he said there about that two year gap, whatever. Um, so, yeah, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. I really enjoyed it as well. I, well I, I did, I enjoyed it at least. If you've got a player you want to look at in this series, don't forget in the comment section to leave his name as much detail as you can, or join the Discord and you can give feedback in there about the videos and also request a, a player in there as well don't forget my other channels down below my FIFA channel and my uh, my non-football let's play channel are down below as well but until next time thank you so much for watching like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you all in the next video bye bye